Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. I came across this article written by GodQuestions.org. I have a link to their ministry in the description box of this video. So this article talks about the rapture and it may clarify a lot of questions that you guys may have. So just stick around to that. I'm going to be reading it to you. It won't take too long. Okay, so the article is titled, What is the Rapture of the Church? So here goes the article. The word rapture does not occur in the Bible. The term comes from a Latin word meaning a carrying off, a transport, or a snatching away. The concept of the carrying off or the rapture of the church is clearly taught in scripture. The rapture of the church is the event in which God snatches away all the believers from the earth in order to make way for his righteous judgment to be poured out on the earth during the tribulation period. The raptured is described primarily in 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 18 and 1 Corinthians 15, 50 through 54. God will resurrect all the believers who have died, give them glorified bodies, and take them from the earth, along with all the living believers, who will also be given glorified bodies at that time. Quote, For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Unquote. First Thessalonians four sixteen through seventeen. The rapture will involve an instantaneous transformation of our bodies to fit us for eternity. Quote, we know that when when he, referring to Christ, appears we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Unquote. First John three two. The rapture is going to, is the, is to be distinguished from the second coming. At the rapture the Lord comes in quote, in the clouds. Unquote. To meet us, quote, in the air, unquote. 1 Thessalonians 4.17 At the second coming, the Lord describes all the way, descends all the way to the earth to stand on the Mount of Olives, resulting in a great earthquake followed by a defeat of God's enemies. Zechariah 14.3-4 So on a side note, um, a lot of people confuse the, the rapture and the second coming, and from that they conclude that the rapture is post-tribulation, which is not true. The rapture is pre-tribulation, and Scripture clearly teaches uh, teaches us that. So yeah, if you're if you're a post-tribber, think about it. Are you are you confusing the rapture with the second coming? Maybe you are. And okay, back to the article. The doctrine of the rapture was not taught in the Old Testament, which is why Paul calls it a mystery now revealed. Quote. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a flash, in the twinkling of an of an eye. At the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. Unquote. First Corinthians fifteen fifty one through fifty two, the rapture of the church is a glorious event we should all be longing for. We will finally be f free from sin. We will be in God's presence forever. This is far too much debate. There is far too much debate over the meaning and the scope of the rapture. This is not God's intent. Rather, the rapture should be a comforting doctrine full of hope. God wants us to, quote, encourage each other with these words, unquote. 1 Thessalonians 4, 18. So, yeah, this article was very well written. It answers a lot of questions that some people have. So, check out gotquestions.org. I have a link in the description box to their ministry. They have a ton of articles that answered, they've answered so many of my questions in this ministry has been around for a while so they have a great amount of content um check out their ministry yeah pretty much i i recommend it i got i get a lot of answers from them and yeah and also in the description box of this video um i have a message that i wrote about the rapture the second coming the tribulation if you're gonna use that uh, and copy paste it and send it to someone if you're going to print it out and give it to someone or if you're going to write your own article or if, or if you if you're going to get a question from godquestions.org whatever it may be um warn people about what's going to happen during the tribulation direct people to christ whatever you can do try to bring people to christ god will reward you in heaven for doing so and thank you for listening god bless you and all glory to god